Okay, second film about hatching. So in this one we're going to hatch areas rather than predetermined shapes like rectangles and circles. So um, four things here all look exactly the same. Now if we wanted to join these two uh, to make one area, the most straightforward way to do it would be to go to modify uh, 2D Berlin operations, 2D add, click on a circle, click on a rectangle, right click, finish selecting, there's our shape. A longer winded way of doing it would be to go to modify, object trim, click on that one, take that bit out, hit the uh, space bar, guts modify, go through the operation again. Now, oops. Now, that's a long way around for that operation, but it might be times where you have to do it that way. So, now we want to hatch this shape. So, if I select this one, I'll, I won't do it from up here, I'll go through the long way. Properties, brush, there's the hatch I want. The scale, I want it 20. Click OK. Now on here, if I do the same thing, properties, brush, there it is, 20. I say OK, nothing happens. Nothing happens because that is one object, or a line, and that's another line. And to hatch this shape, these two polylines have to be joined. So we go to modify, join polyline, click on one, click on the other, then right click, do the finish flag, say that's the only ones I want to do, because you might be joining five, six, how many polylines? So you've got to tell it when you're finished. Then when you do that, right click properties, brush, uh, that hatch, 20, we're okay. Now, let's look at this one. What about if we just wanted to hatch that part of that circle? Not that quadrant, just that part. We have to choose a different tool. So it's the path hatching. Click onto it, keep your finger down for a second until this appears, then grab the bar at the top, left click, drag it in. If you can't do it that way or you've forgotten where it is, come up here, right click, click onto hatch, and go close, there's your hatch. So I always think about it as the path hatch is where you load the hatch. So left click, right click, properties. Choose your hatch. We're on 20, so that's what I want. And say OK. And then we choose the other one. This is just a filler in the middle. Sometimes there's two here, but here I've just got one. Click on to the click on there. It doesn't matter if you've got two, either one will work. Come out there and then put it in. So I always think about is this one you choose the hatch and this one you impose it. So click it in there, click it in there. Okay, simple as that. Now one interesting thing to look at here that if we chose to hatch that whole circle and then we subsequently wanted to take out that quadrant so we went to modify, uh, split, click on here and went quadrant point, quadrant point, our hatch disappears. Okay, so if you want to do that, I mean obviously we can do this again now. So if you want to do that, you know, take, uh, take the line out first. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, one other thing. So if we were drawing a pathway, Say this is our pathway. There's one line of it. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go over to the uh, origin. Left click, take my finger off, drag that down, push control. See I get that little add addition button next to it. Then left click and I've got the other side of it. So here's our pathway. Now again, if I want to hatch that pathway, I'm going to have to close it. So if I go uh, V snap there and V snap there. V here and V there. Now again, you might think, all oh, right, now I'll just hatch that, but of course you go over to there, you come here, you go to properties, and you find something that looks like a pathway. Uh, we can have tiles or we can have some aggregate or something, now we'll choose that one. So okay, go to that one, click in. Of course, nothing's happening. And you're thinking, why is nothing happening? And you're, nothing's happening because you've forgotten to add the polylines, to join the polylines. 
So, come up here. Uh, this whole thing's slowed down for some reason. What's going on? Right, okay, right now. So don't forget, we've got to go modify, join polyline. There's the four lines here, four separate lines. Right click, finish polyline. And then we can take that up and click onto it. And there's our path. Now, if that doesn't work, there's three things it could be. Well, two, essentially. If that path was so big, let's have a look at that one here. If we click back onto there and go to properties and make this scale so big, say 500, when we go OK and go to impose it, ah, we hardly see anything. We see this just this little thing here. So if nothing happens, there's a chance, <coughs> excuse me, there's a chance that the, the size, your scale, might be just far too big. Okay. So I'll take that back. There I am again. So first thing to think is, is the scale too big? The other thing, if you get a dialog box come up and say they can't hatch this entity, it's probably because uh, the shape is not closed. So what you have to do then is go in, look at these corners of the shapes. If they all still look close to you, then what I'd do is I'd choose your lines and again go over these, perhaps trace them, perhaps bring that line a little bit in, make sure you go over the edge. But that's what it is. It's not a closed shape. If it's a closed shape, there's no reason why it shouldn't hatch. Okay, that's it.